Hi, I'm Mr. Gonzalez, and today we're going to use watercolors and our imagination to create something beautiful and interesting. Maybe it will be spooky or funny, who knows? So let's get started. Okay, let's do this. So we have our paper, our watercolors, uh, marker, some brushes, a little cup of water. And what we're going to do, we're gonna paint very little. We're going to make a mark that has some movement and maybe some interesting texture. And I'll show you how to do that. Then we're going to reveal the image. And sometimes the image is a plant, a creature, or even a building or something like that. So let me show you what to do. I'm going to do it kind of big here. All right, so you made your mark. And I think the secret to making a good one is to not spend too much time on it. Just get started and then stop. Like only spend maybe, I don't know, 10 seconds or, or less painting your mark. Because this is just the, the start. Now when you look at it, use your imagination and try and figure out what it is. Turn it around. Look at it from a different angle. Maybe, maybe this is the top. And this is the bottom. So what I'm doing now, I'm looking at it and I can start to see things using my imagination. This way kind of looks like an old man to me with a coat on. This picture kind of looks like a flower or even a frog. Yeah, I see a frog also. And, or a butterfly. You know, one wing, the other wing, and the body. So figure out what you wanna, what you wanna show, what you want to reveal to the viewer. And you can use a marker to help draw the lines or a pencil or a pen, whatever you want. Just make sure that this is dry before you do that, okay? All right, I've decided that I see a frog. And so that's what I'm going to reveal to the to other people. I'm gonna show them what I'm imagining here. And it's kind of like dreaming. So let me just point it out what, it, what different parts. So that's one eye, and this is the head, and this is the big throat of the frog that is croaking. And this is one of the legs, and this is the other leg, and this is the back. So let me further explain by drawing and it kind of draws itself. So I'll start with the eye and it's, you know, it's a little wet, wet still, but that's okay. So it's my big eye for my frog. And that's its mouth. And this is this big croak like the throat, you know how they puff up and then make the sound. And this is its thigh. This is its back. This is its other leg. Maybe its hand is right here. It's got toes of a frog. And this is its mouth. It's a happy toad. Its nose. And let's see. Its feet are tucked underneath it itself. And it has spots on its back. Maybe a spot on its big throat there. Maybe this is its other hand. So you can see my frog now that I imagined. Maybe a 
doesn't have to be a frog. It can be anything. Maybe it's a creature we've never seen before. All right, and maybe this frog is on a giant lily pad. All right, there we go. That's my frog. <laughs> Let's do another one. Now's a good time to pause the video so you can do one yourself. And if you're unsure, I'm going to do a few more examples just so that you can get a better understanding of the steps and the process. So check them out if you want and I uh, hope you enjoy. All right, I got blue paint for this one. So. There, that's my wild, crazy mark. And Just don't spend too long making your mark. Do it quickly. And we'll wait for it to dry and we'll create something. All right, in this one, I see a few things. Let's see, maybe a, gotta turn it around. Maybe a boat. This is the front of the boat. And this is a glacier in the back. And these are like, this is like an ice shelf. You know, maybe it could be that. A boat in the Arctic. Um, oh, or maybe this is the beard of a wizard. And this is its, his hat. You know, it's kind of like tall and kind of crumpled. Um, let's see, or maybe this is, oh, or maybe I see a, a vulture. I guess the head and the beak and the neck, and this is one wing, and the other wing, and the body. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with a vulture, or some sort of crazy bird that kind of looks like a vulture. So, that's its big eye. It's a little angry. And there's its beak. I mean, it kind of draws itself. And then this is one wing. Kind of coming up like that. Hmm, let's see, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Um, kind of wild and crazy like that. And this is its other. Maybe this is some weird creature that's uh, got a got legs. <laughs> this vulture has long legs. Um, maybe, or maybe this is just its its tail. Just a bunch of feathers. Cool. So that's my bird. All right, so now's a good time to pause the video to give yourself some time to work. And if you want to see some more examples, just keep watching. All right, let's do another one. And I'm going to use orange. Let's see. Cool. So. I have no idea <laughs> what this could be. Maybe a starfish. Um, maybe, um, maybe a different kind of bird, maybe a person. I see also um, a cliff. Yeah, there's a cliff. 
I'm gonna wait until it dries to figure something out. I mean, it could also be a crazy symbol or something. It doesn't have to be an animal. It doesn't have to be anything at all. You could just, you know, if you're having trouble imagining something, you could just outline all the little things, you know, all the little shapes. Um, actually, I see a number three. <laughs> Let's do that. When, when it dries, I'm going to outline the number three. I mean, it's, or it could be like the letter M. Um, yeah. Let's wait till it dries. Okay. Um, I'm not going to wait too long. Um, so let's just go ahead and outline this. And I think we're going to do the number three. So we can have fun with it too. That's the wettest part. So I'm going to do that last. Um, And do it kind of like a block letter. Because it's not dry, the marker is gonna bleed a little bit right there, which is fine. Let's see, there's number three, or it's like a weird noodle, but you can also play around with different textures. So I'm gonna do this on the bottom. See, it doesn't have to be an animal or anything. It could be abstract. And I, I like this shape. How this was kind of Loading in front of it, so maybe it's gonna continue to float in front of it. So I'm just going to outline a few of these shapes. And where it's faint here, where there's not really an edge, you just have to decide where you want the edge to be. Maybe this one has a little heart-shaped hole in the middle. You see there's no edge there, so I can actually make it into two things. It's kind of cool looking, you know? Yeah, I'll do this side too real quick. Why not? Break that into two things. Look at that. It kind of looks like a noodle that got a bunch of sauce everywhere. <laughs> like. <laughs> Like maybe it was a noodle that fell on the floor. <laughs> All right, let's do some more of these. They're pretty fun. I hope you're getting some good ideas and enjoying this lesson. So I got one more example to show you. So check it out. I hope you enjoy. All right, so I got purple this time and I'm going to use a quick mark just something quick and maybe some splatters. There we go. All done. Time to let that dry. All right. This one, I see so many things. It could be like a kid with his head here and his arms out stomping on a puddle, you know, or a bug. 
Um, let's see. This one, I see some eyeglasses and a nose, like a close-up of a face. This one looks more like, from this angle, let's see. I still see the eyes and the nose. Um, I'm not sure from this angle. Oh, maybe a person running, like their head and their their elbow and their arm. You know, their arm, their hand, their hips, like they're running. And from this one, oh man, what do you see? Hmm. I see like a, a spacecraft, like a flying vehicle with like its twin engines right there and the pilot right there. And they've like come through a portal or like they broke through something and they're just coming straight towards or past the viewer. Yeah, might as well play around with that idea. Okay, so let's see. I guess this can be the bow or like the front of this vehicle. Kind of sleek in design. And this is <laughs> some sort of crazy engine. Let's see. Like some sort of jet engine. and has like a bunch of controls and high-tech things. And maybe the character, the pilot up here is not a, a person, but maybe it's a sci-fi person. We don't know. This looks like it could be an ear. Star Fox or something. I don't know if you've ever played that game. Their engines are all twisted up. Maybe this one's, I don't know, damaged. Some smoke. You know, just have fun with that. Let your imagination go. Let your imagination go. 
yeah, and there's my <laughs> space engine, you know, spaceship with its engines. <laughs> and a little woof or, I don't know, some, some dog, dog creature, canine creature out there. Cool. So, I hope you have fun with this idea of using watercolors to, to create um, a design or an image, revealing what your imagination sees in the paint and showing the viewer like this. And here's another one, you know, with the fish and just some shapes. Remember this one with the noodle <laughs> or the number three. You can keep doing this, you know, do this with a bunch of papers if you want. I think it can be a real fun exercise. And of course the little frog we did. All right, hope you all have a good rest of your day. Bye.